Finally, Chair Shot Reality is on WrestlingInc.com. I'm Justin Labar, and we are very excited about this. Every single weekend on the Wrestling Inc. YouTube channel, right here, you can get a binge watch playlist that you can enjoy. And uh, I usually have Juice Springsteen here in studio. He's not here. He's uh, something about the mumps in WWE. We'll see what happens. But we got a great opening segment for you. We're going to talk the good, the bad, and the ugly. And let's start now with the good. After a three-year run as WWE creative writer, Jimmy Jacobs is going back to the other side of the curtain to be a performer. He dubs himself the zombie princess, whatever the hell that is. But he is someone who stands out. I was physically in the ring for a segment five years ago in Pro Wrestling Ohio in Cleveland when Jacobs made a surprise debut and attacked Johnny Gargano. Jacobs brought a lot of energy and mystique to the ring. He's a solid worker and communicates creatively on the mic. Well, he's traded in his WWE employee dress code and is returning to his ear gauges and painting of his fingers and toes. Well, none of that is exactly my brand of vodka. Myself, I'm just trying to coordinate my ties and deal with my rapid hair loss. But Jimmy Jacobs is very visual in a very visual business, so power to him returning to what got him started. That's all good. The bad. Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated is reporting the reason for Nia Jax's sudden absence from WWE TV is she got mad at creative wanting her to lose clean to Sasha Banks at TLC. More interesting is according to the SI report, she called her cousin, you might have heard of him, he's known as The Rock, and he encouraged her to walk away if she was unhappy. No disrespect to Nia Jax, but you're not The Rock. And, well, nobody should just be able to walk out due to creative differences. Just ask Stone Cold Steve Austin in 2002. But especially don't do this when you've been on the main roster for less than two years. If this story is true, and Sports Illustrated has hit the mark accurately since getting into the wrestling reporting game, the reaction some of Nia's co-workers could have to Cousin Dwayne giving her the hall pass, that could be bad. And the ugly. Weeks ago... Jeff Jarrett was sent home by Impact Wrestling. Recently, Jarrett was at an indie show in Canada where he allegedly was drinking before his match, late for his entrance, prompting his opponent to tell the fans he was drunk, and then Jarrett got to the ring and painfully killed the minutes he needed to. Amidst the match, Jarrett started doing his famous strut. Advice to Jeff, don't get drunk before matches, especially if your trademark taunt involves you needing to bend over and walk in a straight line. That's called a field sobriety test. Jarrett then no-showed the next night. Anthem Sports has now announced they've cut all ties with Jarrett's Global Force Wrestling, and the wrestling promotion Anthem Funds is back to being called Impact Wrestling. Jarrett says Anthem is running out of money, and I do believe him there. And Jarrett has reportedly entered a rehab facility for his issues. Good for him for seeking help. Good for WWE if it's true that they're the ones paying the bill, since Jeff is a former talent of theirs. But all of this is happening after what's been a whole lot of ugly. We got tons more Chair Shot Rally this weekend for you to enjoy on Wrestling Inc.